And that's what they called art? <laughs> I can't believe that. Man, this game looks beautiful. This is with the ray tracing and all of that. That's crazy. Yes, Spike, I'm coming up there and I'm going to give you a knuckle sandwich. Oh, Spike, you're a little janky right there. All right, wow. We, we got real aggressive there. We wanted to punch Spike in the face there for a second. I'll try to get through here. I'll keep on lightly pulling on this door. All right, let's find where to go here. Look at this. How convenient. I should probably tell Spike that I found a way in, but eh, I'll let him be. He seems happy. The movement seems like you're following the character's legs instead of just kind of like floating around like in the first Dying Light game, if that makes any sense. What the? What? Did you see that rat? It looked like its legs weren't even yeah. moving. What was Rats. that? I think it's time we parted ways. What? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Spike, this seems really random. Oh, okay. All right, he just left. All right. I guess Spike doesn't like us anymore. We lost our only friend in the world. I'll show you something to worry about. You're lucky you're protected. What is this? Investigate. And that's what they called art? <laughs> Whoever painted that, get wrecked. <laughs> Jeez. I can't imagine what this room smells like. It's just gotta be awful. Oh, there's some wine though. Hopefully there's some in there. Let's have a party. That's heartbreaking. What's heartbreaking are all those unsmoked cigarettes in the ashtray. There's just kidding, like kids. Don't smoke. Spike, weren't you just saying we should be separated? To give some background on my history with Dying Light, I have beaten the first game, and I beat it just like a week ago in preparation for this. And this video is just gonna be my first unscripted impressions of this. It's completely live commentary. I have not seen a lick of gameplay before this. Man, a lot of these bodies, they're just sitting around. This dude's got a cool hat. He's just chilling here. These have gotta be pictures of the developers, right? I could be wrong, but that's usually what they do. So what, did all these people just die, like, just sitting here? Or, like, what happened? Oh my god! End of the world party? Welcome to the last party. Oh no! I'm starting to piece together what happened here. This is awful, dude. Let's party? Oh no, dude. This got really depressing. I was in a good mood before this, and now my day's ruined. Sit down, buddy. Oh, we're, we're buddies again, huh? Yeah. I don't- I'm not drinking that. This is an end of the world party. That's probably poison. All right, well, now we're gonna die. Great. Ooh, there's dialogue options. I like that. Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. Hey, man, oh, I just I started the game, all right? <laughs> be a little less harsh with me i have to say really just looking around at the environment so far it's done a really good job of just showing how overgrown everything is of course i'm playing it on max settings but just still hey that's littering don't do that oh sweet so now we have a bat immunity allows you to remain in darkness longer okay that's new we gotta go to the radio antenna let's head over there a dang zambi get out of here zambi we don't need you around here take down i guess what is he choking it out all right i wouldn't want to get that close to its mouth but he's the expert not me oh hey what's up get out of here get this is what happens if you don't pay your taxes all right how does a bus just hang from there like this Oh, and I fell in water. You should have gotten the extended warranty. I told you. Now you'll have no choice but to get it. Oh, yum. I found dinner tonight. Don't get close to the biters or they'll wake up. Oh, so this is how they sleep, man. That looks real uncomfortable. I'm glad I'm not one of them. If you don't like the video, you have to sleep like the biters for the rest of your life. I'm sorry. You just have to. It's a binding agreement we all made when we were born. I hate to break this to you, but that's the way it is. Seems like a lot of the parkour is the same as the first one, which is fine. I mean, it's not broken. Don't fix it. That's what set Dying Light apart from other games. Like In Dying Light 1, I wasn't a huge fan of the story, but the parkour and the general gameplay was so good, it made up for it. The, spa the icon's there. You can do it. I trust you. You know what? I'll do it anyway. Oh, I did it. No, no, no. Okay, I'm confused. All right. I just got it. I got to not spam space. I got to trust Aiden. Oh, can I kick? Yes. 
Yes! This is another thing I love to do is kick the zombies off of buildings. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. It's starting to get dark out. Oh, there's ropes now? And see, I've always loved the XP systems. Those Elder Scroll kind of XP systems that give you XP by performing the actions rather than just having like a standard XP rate. Survivor sense. How cool would that be? If you could just like do that and see things highlighted in life like, oh man, where'd I put my keys? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Alcohol? Booyah, we're gonna have a party tonight. Quick time events. Open sesame. What the? Oh, look at you, you idiot. You fell. What in the world is that? This dude's got superpowers. I'm fighting against Superman now. Hey, that's not nice to jump on your friend's heads like that. I can take you, you punk. Yeah, come fight me, you idiot. Get out of here. Come on. I need my insurance money. Give me my insurance money. God, I can't see like half the time. Your arm's glitching out. You might want to chill. I only have one question. Where's my flashlight? This seems like it'll be very loud and attract zombies, but hey, whatever. Oh, there we go. I can actually see now. Oh, look at this. We even have some tunes. We got a nice little skull there for decoration as well. Coffee and tea. Oh, come on. Where's the booze? Oh, no. We're in the bald-headed club. We're about to get our heads shaved. No, I'm gonna go get my hair cut. No, I like my hair. Leave me alone, you pervert. All right, I'm starting to get the thought that this is more serious than that. Oh, never mind. We are already bald. Oh, yeah, game. I knew you'd try to do this to me. To that one for sure. So basically, we're looking for this girl named Mia, and we have to meet up with some guy who knows stuff about her, and we have to guide him to a city. Be 30 minutes in and out. Let's go. Hurry up. All right, I'm hurrying. Hold on. Hurry. Yes, you've already said hurry up like three times, all right? I'm hurrying. Get out of here. Oh, let's go. Yeah, we can make the jump. Uh-oh, this bus is moving. I don't like that. Let's get out of here. All right, I'm here. Where are you, you punk? I'll meet you soon. Oh, oh, soon. You're the one hurrying me. And you're not even here, buddy. Oh, shit. This doesn't look good. Oh, this doesn't look good? What about, like, the 90 other places we visited with all the dead bodies and whatnot? But uh, this one doesn't look good. All right, this one really doesn't look good, though. All right, I'm, I'm with you on this one. I'm hearing a zombie. Oh, all right. We don't like to mess with these things. Thanks, buddy. You actually saved my life. You know, you could have just opened the door a little bit earlier. Well, things have gotten pretty bad here. We're just having a seizure now. We've been looking for you. All right, that's the last thing you want to hear from some random person. Oh, I finally have a flashlight. Things are so dark. What is this guy smoke like 70 packs of cigarettes a day? How is this voice so weird? Oh. All right, that was a little delayed. That actually kind of scared me. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming to save you. All right, that just seems unnecessary. Oh, well, you kind of left yourself open for that one. Oh, yes. You can block and die like two. Thank God. Before you couldn't. I have a feeling my stamina is better than yours. You sound like you smoke 20 packs of cigarettes a day, you punk. Come on. I hit your mask off, you dummy. Hey, you look like you got a little bit of a bloody nose. Oh, well, now you're just dead. Hey, I just taught him some manners. Come on. <laughs> what was that? You just making random noises? Woo. Get out of here. Wow, that is qu that has been quite a hit. A parkour shot. Oh, man, I can't wait until I unlock that. Wow, they did a number on you. Good Who God. That? There's no time. Well, I mean, you just I got beat up a little bit. I don't think you're going to die or anything. Ooh, I just imagine Waltz is a guy with like an 1800 style here? mustache and a top hat. Get wrecked. Oh, wow, that actually killed him. Everyone's like, show us what you got. And meanwhile, there's like six of their dead buddies in here. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Hey, hold on. I'm looting your friends here. Hey, hey, hey. It's rude to interrupt people, all right? I mean, shouldn't the injured guy go in first? I mean, I'm not going to argue, but... Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? All right, that's fine, but I have it. That doesn't prevent you from coming with me. He could have literally come into this vent with me. I'm so confused. This guy is literally just trying to get the worst death possible. A completely preventable death. Like I said before, he could have, you know, came in here, but now he's dead. 
Oh, and see, we didn't leave either. And now we're having a seizure, and now they know. You could have came with us, bro. But no, he had to die. Oh, dear God. All right, well, we're falling. We're sliding. Good thing I'm an Olympic swimmer. I was personally taught by Michael Phelps. All right, we're about to escape. Hey, guys, don't worry. I just showed up here. I don't know. I guess I would feel that way, too, if someone just showed up in my house randomly. <laughs> Jeez. Kill him. No, hang him. <laughs> oh, God. This, guy, this went from bad to worse again. Oh, now we're going to be hung? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my God. What? Well, all right. That seemed like the appropriate response. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Dude, what an expert knife thrower that guy is. What a chad. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we kind of deserved that. I mean, we were fighting people. Don't get comfortable. Oh god. I feel those eyes staring through my soul. Do you need Yana to put the hurt on you again? You know what? Do it. Maybe I'd feel alive. Besides, I'm a better fighter than she is, so I can afford to be more open. You know what? That's it. We can only settle this one way. 1v1 boxing match right now in the middle of that room. I'll start selling tickets. $10 a ticket. It'll be great. Are you picking up when I'm laying down or should I say it again? I think you should say it again. So my first impressions of Dying Light 2 are pretty good. You know, I the new visuals are great. The story is like, it, it's a lot different than what I thought it would be. Uh, like, I'm interested to see where this goes, but the parkour, the combat, it seems like everything's here and there's been improvements made to it. Overall, I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. I'm definitely going to be playing through the rest of this for sure. I, I was going to say the dialogue's pretty funny. I just fell somehow. I don't know how I managed to do that. Oh, it's, my stamina is depleted. Catch! I didn't catch it, but uh, so far I'm feeling pretty positive about this whole game. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But anyways, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. As I was talking through like the cutscenes and stuff, I know uh, some people would see that as me like crapping on the game. I swear it's not. I'm not. That's just my sense of humor. Uh, so don't take those lines too seriously and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed the video as always. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool fun stuff. Let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. Peace.